Consumers are demanding fresh and natural ingredients. California Natural Color has the solution by ensuring that your favorite beverages, food, and even supplements are colored and flavored naturally from ripe fruits and vegetables. Philip Klein, Vice President and General Manager of California Natural Color, was here to tell us how the company has grown to become one of the world's largest suppliers of natural colors. Welcome, Philip. Thank you, Kathy. Happy to be on. Philip, can you tell us about yourself and your background with Gala Winery and California Natural Color? Yeah, of course, Kathy. Uh, as you mentioned, California Natural Color, or Cal Color, uh, as we call it, is owned by the Gala Winery. And I started uh, working for Gallo 32 years ago as a sales rep calling on grocery stores down the road. And uh, after selling wine for 30 years all over the world, about two and a half years ago, I moved over to the color division, which is California Natural Color. And there is basically my responsibility to steer the organization, set direction, and coach the team to deliver the products. Right. And can you give us an overview of the color additives used in the food industry? Yeah, of course, Kathy. I mean, color is in everything. It's right. in the food we eat. It's in the beverages we drink. And, and the reason that manufacturers use it is a number of things. First of all, they use it to make the products more appealing. You know, some of the products that they make naturally have colors that fade. And so they use color to bolster that up, or in some cases, just have a little bit of fun. Now, historically, most of the colors are synthetic or artificial colors, but there's been a significant move uh, over the last few years to convert from synthetic to more natural products, as you said, products made from fruits and vegetables and plants. Color is everything we eat and drink, from candy to soft drinks to nutritional supplements that we may take in the morning. Um, traditionally, these colors have been um, synthetic, derived from petroleum, and uh, here at California Natural Color, we've been making natural colors for over 20 years. So essentially what we do is we help our customers convert from artificial to our natural colors. And we also assist young entrepreneurs to develop new products using our natural solutions. Now, Philip, what are consumers looking for? And can you tell us about the concept of clean labeling? Yeah, of course. So it's no surprise that today consumers are looking for healthier options. And Many years ago, when you used to pick up a product and looked at a food label, it was very technical. I mean, you needed a science degree to actually understand what was back there. Well, today, consumers are demanding something different. They want what some people have called real food. They're looking for transparency, something authentic, something that's easy to understand. And that's one of the things that we do by providing natural color. Consumers want clean label products. Parents don't want to give their kids artificial colors made in a laboratory. Our products are 100% natural. We start with grapes, carrots, purple sweet potato, and we add nothing else. Unlike straight white powders that contain a carrier, mainly maltodextrin, our crystals are pure. They are just concentrated fruit juice for color. We add nothing. They are very easy to handle for our customers. They are non-dusty, they are free-flowing, they go into solution very quick, they can be stored in ambient conditions. They don't require expensive refrigerated trucks to transport them around, which can be a huge deal for a customer using them on a global scale. Your shipment costs can go down significantly and the usage and efficiency in the plant can go up. Philip, can you talk about the importance of using natural colors and what types of raw materials do you use? Well, just like we were just talking about, consumers want real food. Well, there's nothing more real than, you know, fruits and vegetables. And any manufacturer who's looking to please their customers and who isn't, uh, can very easily do so by switching over to natural colors. For us, you know, as a company that's owned by a winery, you know, our predominant uh, ma raw material are grapes. But we also use black carrots and purple sweet potatoes and radishes and even turmeric to create some of the colors we use. But everything we use is 100% naturally sourced. Philip, is all natural coloring the same? Kathy, you would think that would be the case, but it's not. It really comes down to two things. One is the raw material that we use. I mean, we use a type of grape that's known for its high color instability. Other grapes, not as stable, and the color will fade very quickly. Ours doesn't do that. The other side of it is the process. 
A lot of people use a process called spray drying that basically creates a color that's very dusty and hard to use, hard to keep in one location. We have a proprietary process that creates pure crystals. There's nothing in it but color and it's less dusty. Additionally, it's significantly more concentrated. There's more color in it for every, you know, pound of it that you use. And one of the great things is we have no binders or carriers. In spray dry, they have to put something in it, typically a sugar, to actually keep it together, even though it doesn't stay together very well. Our product has nothing in it but the fruit or the vegetable. As a result, in use, our products are basically calorie free, which again is very important to consumers. Not all grapes used for color are the same. If you squeeze a red grape, in a lot of cases you actually just get a white grape juice. The color sits in the skin and only comes out if it has long contact with the juice or is actually collected after winemaking, put into tanks, and water and sulfur dioxide is being added to almost forcefully remove the color by breaking down the skin and releasing the anthocyanin. Later on then this acid is being removed and those anthocyanins are concentrated. And compared to this rather harsh process, we use a very gentle process collecting fresh ruby red grapes, which are grapes that are particularly used for their high color content, and they have very stable color on top of that. And when we squeeze them, we get a very red grape juice concentrate out of that, that we then use further on to manufacture our color products. Philip, can you please tell us about California Natural Colors product portfolio? Yeah, of course. You know, we started as a sweetener company, mm -hmm. uh, and then we sort of converted over to some other food ingredients, but our focus today is obviously on color, and we sell liquid colors, and as I talked about, crystal colors, which is really the focus of our business. And we sell it in shades of mostly started with purples and pinks, and then reds, but now we're going into, you know, a, a more deeper red, a real replacement for a synthetic color called Red 40. We're also doing browns and several other colors. We also do some custom work uh, for customers. You know, there are a lot of customers who have an existing product and they want to go from synthetic over to natural. And our folks work with them to try to design something that'll work with their product and hopefully have very limited change on the shelf. So consumers who are used to having a product look a certain way, right. it'll stay the same even when they convert over to natural. We have a proprietary process to produce our crystal colors. Our crystal colors are more concentrated, has longer shelf life, and zero calories in use. Colors in everything that you eat and drink, um, the pills that you take, candy that you eat, um, but traditionally the colors used are synthetic colors. Um, so we're here to help people transition over from synthetic to natural colors. Our colors are made purely from fruit and vegetables and nothing is added. And what about the cost? Is the cost the same for natural as synthetic? You know, Kathy, I wish that were the case, but it's not. Natural colors are more expensive. Sure. They're harder to make. But in the end, when it comes down to how much color you use, and it's a very small amount, it really doesn't significantly change the cost of the product. And it's one of the trade-offs that manufacturers and retailers and consumers are gonna have to make if they want a natural product. And can you talk about the wide variety of products that use California natural colors? Well, Kathy, I can guarantee you that you and probably everybody watching this at some point in time has had some of our product. We've been around a long time and we're in lots of different things. We're in dried fruits, we're in beverages and juices and all different types of food. We're in that smoothie that you buy at the sandwich shop at the end of the road. So anywhere there's color, our products have probably been used before. And can you please talk about your exciting future plans for California Natural Color? You know, we believe that our pure color crystals are the best color delivery system on the market for manufacturers to use in their products. You know, again, our crystals, calorie free in use, very low dust, incredibly sustainable, both kosher and halal certified, and of course non-GMO. These are good products for people to use. And at CalColor, we're gonna to continue to expand the types of colors that we have, the raw materials we have, and we'll be able to support the growth of natural colors that we see on the market today. Excellent. Well, Philip, it sounds like California Natural Color is keeping our food beautiful, natural, and healthy. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Kathy. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.